Father, we ask that you use them, O oh Father. We ask that you use them, O oh Father. We ask that you use them, O oh Father. We ask that you use them, O oh Father. Give them the strength, the courage, O oh Father, to say that which is coming from your mouth, O oh Father. Ramayanda Rabasaka. Rimi Sikrianda Rabasik, O Father. Ramasakarianda Rabasik, Jehovah. We don't want this day to be another day, O oh Father. We don't want these services to be other services, O oh Father. We want it to be a different service, O oh Father, where we will minister to us, O oh Father. Where we will see you for you who you are, Father. Because you are our God. Because you are our Lord Jehovah. We want to touch you, Jehovah. We want to touch you, our Father. We want to touch your garment, O Father. We want to touch you, Jehovah, and this Jehovah Shalom. We want to touch you, Jehovah. We want to touch you this morning, O Father, so that our lives can be transformed, O Father. We cast out any demonic power. We cast out, O Father, any arrows that are thrown in this church, O Father, in this altar, Father. We cast it out, O Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We cast, O Father, the authority that you have given unto us as your servants, O Father. We cast them out, O Father. They have no power over this altar, Father. This altar, Father, will minister, O oh, Father, that which is coming from your altar, your mouth, O oh, Father, your heart, O oh, Father. This altar, Father, will stand for your name, O oh, Father. This altar will you deserve. You deserve, you deserve. You deserve, Father, you deserve. You deserve, my God, you deserve. We are not going to be quiet, O oh, Father. We are not going to keep quiet, Jehovah. We are not going to wait for others, O oh, Father, to do it, O oh, Father. We will do it ourselves, O oh, Father. This altar will do it, O oh, Father. The church members will do it, O oh, Father. Every single member of this church, O oh, Father, will stand, O oh, Father, and do which, O oh, Father, they are asked, O oh, Father, by the Spirit to do, Jehovah. Rama Sakarianda Rabasiko, Father. No demonic power, Father. No demonic power, Father. Has ever contr any control over this altar, has any control over this church, O oh Father. No demonic powers that are meant, O oh Father, to spoil the service, that are meant, O oh Father, to cause any form of discomfort, that are meant, O oh Father, to cause any form of confusion, that are meant to form any cause of, of disruption, O oh Father. We cast them out, O oh Father, with the authority that you have given us as your children, O oh Father. With the authority that you have given us as your children, O oh Father. We cast them out in the mighty name of Jesus. We cast them out in the mighty name of Jesus. They have no power. They have no control. Holy Spirit take over 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 let your blood of oh father that is speaking good things about us oh father and about you jehovah let them bother the blood of oh father keep speaking good things oh father and the things that you have said oh father they will not come to you void oh father they will not come back void oh father rama sakarianda rabasik jehovah take over buana take over jehovah we ask the spirit of tranquility jehovah we ask the spirit of peace jehovah we ask the spirit of father understanding of oh father we ask the spirit of comfort, O oh Father. We ask the spirit of joy, O oh Father. The joy of the Lord is our strength, O oh Father. We ask the spirit of joy to cover this church, to cover every member that is walking in the, in, the, in the doors of this church, O oh Father, to cover the people that will be there to minister Jehovah. Rama Sakarianda Rabasiki Jehovah. We weni mungu. We weni mungu. We weni mungu. Tunajua tukiomba. Una tusikia buana. Tukiomba mkate buana. Una tupaga mkate buana. Rama Sikrianda Rabasiki Siki Jehovah, to Kiomba Buana, who on a Tupa Jehovah, Naimania to Father. Our faith is that, O Father, we have asked Jehovah, and Father, you have given unto us, O Father, because you are faithful. You are faithful, O God, O Father, and which we have not asked, O Father, the Spirit of the Lord, O Father, will continue seeking, O Father, will continue praying for us, O Father. Oh, Rianda Rabasiko, Father, to Nakotokuza Buana, to Nasema, Santa Kawema, and Zuluako, where when you mamine for Buana. Amen. Praise the Lord Church. Praise the Lord Church. Amen. Um, but we all stand up as we're going to start the service this morning. And um, today we have a special service for Thanksgiving. And uh, we just want to take, you know, this time to thank God for everything that has been happening on the Family Month. And that is why we all have to be in a mood of Thanksgiving and a grateful heart, amen. You can 
Actually, turn to your neighbor and invite him or into the presence of the Lord as we wait to start the service this morning. Amen. And we actually have a new song today, so I believe you are going to, you know, catch up easily. So uh, most of the parts you're going to sing after me, but I want to teach you one of the hardest parts. It goes like this.
this morning. We worship you, Holy Spirit. And have your way. Have your way in our lives. Have your way, our help, our comfort. Have your way. Oh, Kashaka Pamata Maya Dorobo Rika Masaka. Rico Poishanta Maya Dorobo Rika Pasaika Pamata Maya No. Oh, Kashanda Yabo Rika Masaika Pamata Maya Dorobo Rika Masaka. Why don't you go ahead and just worship the Holy Spirit? Just go ahead and worship the Holy Spirit this morning. And if you can speak in tongues, go ahead and speak in tongues as we worship the Holy Spirit this morning. The Bible declares the Holy Spirit to be our comforter, to be our helper in this life, to be our leader, to be our teacher. Let's go ahead and worship the Holy Ghost. Worship your God, worship your Redeemer. Worship the Holy Spirit this morning. Let's go ahead and worship the Lord and worship our Father. Worship our Redeemer, whom we have seen in the family man, transforming our marriages and the families, transforming our lives. We have seen the matches, we have seen the Almighty God being with us. We have seen the big transformations of our marriages. We have seen the healings of our families. Why don't we go ahead and worship Him and say thank you before you, Lord. And say thank you, Jehovah, for the thing that you are doing in my marriage. The devil was not intending good things for your marriage. The devil was not trying the good things against uh, your family. The Lord has sustained your marriage. The Lord has sustained your family. Why don't you go ahead this morning and just worship his holy name and just say thank you Lord. We acknowledge and appreciate the things that you are performing in our marriages and our families. For your own glory Jehovah Father God Almighty. Let's go ahead and thank the Lord for the things he's performing in our marriages families and particularly specifically in the monthly families that we have seen big transformations in our marriages families in one two minutes let's go ahead and thank and acknowledge the lord for his mighty hand that we have seen intervening in our marriages and families let's go before him father god almighty in the name of your son jesus we father acknowledge you this morning for the things that father you're performing in our marriages and families for the things, for miracles that, Father, you are performing in our marriages and families. The things that were beyond our comprehension. The things that were beyond our imagination. The things that were beyond our capabilities. We have seen your mighty hand, Father, intervening. We have seen, Father, a divine intervention in our families. And this morning as we come before you, Jehovah, Father, God Almighty, we acknowledge you, Lord. We appreciate you, Father. We thank you, Master, for the thing that you are doing and performing in our lives. Father, receive all the glory and honor. Father, we understand, we appreciate. We know the things that you are doing, the things that you are performing. Let it, Father, not be in your might hand. Let it, Father, not your grace being upon us, O oh Lord. Our families would have not been there. Our marriages would have not been there. We are who we are today, Jehovah. Just by your grace and this morning, Father, we wish, Father, to acknowledge the mighty hand, Father, of you all that is happening and performing in our lives. Oh, Kapashanta Mayandara Borika Masaka. Rikapashanta Mayandara Borika Masaka. If we acknowledge that it's all about God, had it not been God, our families would have been fallen apart. Our marriages would have not been there. If we acknowledge that, Father, we go ahead and clap and shout unto the Lord and say, thank you, Jehovah. Let's go and shout unto the Lord. Let's shout unto the Lord to say, Father, we understand. We acknowledge you.
say amen in the name of the Lord. to the book of Acts. The book of Acts. Thank you very much, Pastor Halamela, for a good welcome. Appreciate it. God bless you, Pastor. Amen. Hallelujah. This month, we shall be focusing in the book of Acts. I'll be having some Sundays that I'll be standing to preach, and I'll be making a continuation of the book of Acts, which we've been making some expositions from. And uh, today we begin with where we left, chapter number 13. We, the last chapter was chapter number 12, and today we begin from chapter number 13. Hallelujah. It is translation in the name of Jesus Christ. So being sent out by the Holy Spirit, they went down to Seleucia and from there they sailed to Cyprus. And when they arrived in Salamis, they preached the word of God in the synagogues of the Jews. They also had John as their assistant. Now when they had gone through the island, of Paphos, they found a certain sorcerer, a false prophet, a Jew whose name was Bar Jesus, whose was with the pro proconsul Sergius Paulus, an intelligent man. This man called for Barnabas and Saul and sought to hear the word of God. But Elimas, the sorcerer, can you say, but Elmas the sorcerer? Again, but Elmas the sorcerer. Thank you. So, for so his name is translated with his, with his to them, seeking to turn the proconsul away from the faith. That so, then so, who also is called the Paul. Filled with the Holy Spirit, looked intently at him and said, Oh, full of deceit and all fraud, you son of the devil, you enemy of all the righteousness, will you not cease perverting the straight ways of the Lord? And now, indeed, the hand of the Lord is upon you, and you shall be blind not seeing the sun for a time. And immediately a dark mist fell on him. And he went according, he went around seeking someone to lead him by the hand. Then the proconsul believed and he saw what had been done, being astonished at the teaching of the Lord. 
And this is the word of God to us as we receive it. May we say amen to the reading of the Holy Word of God. Amen. Father, thank you for the opportunity that I can stand before your people this morning and make a sharing of your word for your congregation. I pray this morning, I pray to you, Father, that you use me with the wisdom, with the clarity and focus under the anointing of the Spirit of God to speak and fully deliver your message to your people. I pray that, Father, as we deliver this message to your people, people receive, receive the power that is in the scripture this morning. People have been set free through the power of the word of God, through the power of the spirit of God. I pray this morning for your people. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Spirit of God, I pray. And all of us say, Amen, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And please, please be seated in Jesus' name. And uh, rivers of joy, thank you. It's been wonderful to serve the Lord together with you this morning. Would you please appreciate rivers of joy for their ministration? <laughs> the book of Acts is one of the fundamental books in the Bible that we all Christians should read for us to know where we come from, the background, the history of the church, how the church was birthed, and how the church grew, how the church expanded in its region and beyond its birth region where it started in Palestine. And we all know that if you don't know your history, you don't know yourself. That's how they say. If you don't know your history, you don't know yourself. It's important that you, all of us know where we come from, where our roots are in the book of Acts. Chapter 1 is about the promise of God, the coming of the Holy Spirit to wait until when the Spirit of God comes on you. Wait until when the promise of my Father comes on you. Verse 8, it's the power of the Spirit of God, the power of God. The Holy Spirit is about the power, the power of God. You go in the Old Testament, you realize whenever the Spirit of God fell in a person or it fell in a group of people, it went together with the manifestation of the power of God to the people who received the word or the message from God. Chapter 2, the fulfillment of the promise came. Finally, when the day of the Pentecost came, they were all in one place. They were filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke in tongues spoke in other languages, in the language of heaven. Chapter 3, it's about the miracle of the lampstand at the beautiful gate of the temple. Peter and John, in the time of worship, they went and they found him. He was there begging for some assistances, some substances to be assisted by people. And all of a sudden, he believes that God can do something for me. As he looks to Peter and John, he receives a miracle. I pray that you receive your miracle today in the name of the Lord. I pray that God it does something to you, something supernatural, something miraculous to you, and you receive your supernatural miracle from the Holy God you came today to worship Him. Chapter number 4, following from what happened in chapter number 3, they arrested Peter and John there in the prison, but God has set them free through His power. Hallelujah. You will never be able to stop what God is up for, what God is doing, what God is pushing it forward. You will never be able to stop it. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. And the miracle happened and many people got saved. Many people came to, to Jesus Christ because of that happening. Chapter 5, we remember all of us is about Ananias and Sapphira. They are giving their offering, but they are trying to lie to the Holy Spirit. They are right away being punished by the Spirit of God. All of them, the Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. Ananias, went to death. All of a sudden, they lost their lives. So you find in chapter 4, persecution begins. Chapter 5, the fear fell in the church. Chapter, chapter 6, there are some issues in the church, problems in the church. The Jews who are, their background, the Hebrews and the Jews, who, their background is Greek. They are quarreling, they are fighting, they are conflicting in the church. It became a trouble to the pastors, the apostles, the pastors. 
it became a trouble for them to minister all these things at the very same time to see if they can run the church, the congregation, managing the revival which had happened in chapter 2, 3,000 people got saved. And in chapter 4, 5,000 people got saved. A church which had about 120, 300 people, all of a sudden now is counting to about 10,000 people. It was a huge task to make all the management, but God gave them wisdom. Amen. I pray that when you're in trouble, when you're in difficult moments, God drops his idea, his wisdom in you to manage. Instead of crying, instead of complaining, the wisdom comes on you on how you can go forward in fulfilling that purpose of God for your life. If you receive something, say amen to the name of the Lord. God will give you wisdom. You're confused with your marriage and family. You're confused with your boss. You're confused with your customers. You're confused with all other relationships you have. Believe that God will provide you with his divine wisdom. The wisdom from heaven come on you. You'll be able to come out. You will survive. Devil expects you to collapse. In the moments of all the frustrations and confusions, you don't know what to do. I pray for you this morning. By the way, I feel to be preaching and be praying for you this morning. This is what I feel to be doing this morning. I'll be coming and lay hands on people as I preach the word this morning. If you're ready, say amen in the name of the Lord. Amen. Chapter 7, Stephen is arrested. He's arrested and Stephen has been martyred. Chapter 8, Saul persecutes the church. God's father. Scaring the church. He persecutes the believers, the saints of God. Chapter 9, we find Saul finally get saved. Amen. Your enemies will one day become your friends. Amen. The former terrorist Saul, he became a preacher of the word of God. Amen. The terror, the terrorist, God eternity. turned. There is nothing which is too hard for God. Amen. It is scares you. It worries you, but God has all the power to turn around all the things which worries, which causes fears in you, to turn around to be for your benefit. As a matter of fact, in chapter 9, we realize that so get saved and the church begins to flourish. Amen. The church begins to flourish. The church begins to go further. Chapter 10 is in the Cornelius house. The baptism comes in Cornelius house. All of them, they have been saved. Peter who was not believing in the grace to go for the, for the Gentiles, he finds himself, he's now in the house of Cornelius because God had commanded him to do so. When he enters in the house of Cornelius, he says, that you know, you all know that we Jews, we don't mix, we don't share, we don't come together with the Gentiles. But I saw a vision. The people who have been your enemies, may the Lord turn their hearts to become your friends. The people, you don't share backgrounds with them. I pray that it's supernaturally, God speaks to them. It wasn't Cornelius who say, I need Peter to come to me. It was God speaking to Peter that go down to Caesarea. And you find in the house of Cornelius, there I have my person I want you to go to talk to. I pray that God is saying people like Peter to your homes. God is saying people like Peter to your workplace. God is saying pe people like Peter to your business areas. That you begin to find solutions are coming, answers are coming. And the joy of the Lord grabs your life. Eleven, Peter had it to explain. He was in trouble with the Jews. Had to explain about the grace of God. He defends the grace of God. Because he did something which is not acceptable. He had to explain about it. Twelve, Peter is arrested. James is killed. Peter is arrested. And after Peter has been arrested, God appears and frees him. And Herod who had intended to kill him, God smashes him. God punishes him. God strikes him. And Herod dies all of a sudden. Chapter 13, which now we are into, is all about the first missionary journey of Apostle Paul together with 
with, together with Barnabas, they are going to their first missionary journey from this apostolic center called, called the Antioch Church, going to their first missionary journey to Europe. And their first destination is in Cyprus. Can you say amen to the name of the Lord? They're going to Cyprus. They go to Cyprus. They arrive there. And the Bible says they arrive there. They find they are being asked by the proconsul or the governor of the province to come and share good news, to come and preach him, to come and say the message of God for, for him. And he calls them to come to his house. As he does so, the Bible says that they went, Barnabas and so they went to see the proconsul. As they arrived there, there was a man by the name of Barry Jesus. Barry Jesus. His other name is, is Elimas. His other name is Elimas. And this morning, if you wanted to write the title of my message, write Breaking the Spirit of Elimas in Your Life. Breaking the Spirit of Elimas in the Life. Breaking the Spirit of Elimas in Your Life. Breaking the spirit of Elimas in your marriage and family. Breaking the spirit of Elimas in every area of your life. I'll be interceding and praying for you as I share the word of God. Because all of us in our lives, there are some Elimases who are surrounding us. There are some Elimases who are surrounding us. The Bible, as it explains about him, it says he was a sorcerer. A sorcerer means a witch. A wizard, a witch. He was close to the governor. Close to the governor. And the Bible explains about the governor that, that was an intelligent man. An intelligent man. An intelligent man. Many of you think because you're educated, demons cannot operate close to you. You're lying to yourself. You're lying to yourself. Listen to me, church. There's that level of the demons operates within you. They invade you, they possess you, and they wake in you, they wake through you. But there are times demons, they can remote you, remote control you. This is the Elmas spirit. They control your environments. They control your atmospheres. They control your affairs. You don't know what's going on, but there's some demonic powers, there's some spiritual Spiritual dynamics which are controlling what you should be having, what you should not have, what you should not have. They control all your affairs without you know, knowing that there is any mass spirit works in my life. And this is what we want to break it right now in the name of the Lord. Amen. Chapter number 13. Hallelujah. Somebody if you receive something, say amen to the name of the Lord. Amen. The early mass spirit. I'm so angry in my spirit because I know many of you have been hindered to be all what you're supposed to be and all what you could be because the early mass spirit is controlling your affairs. He's remotely controlling your money, your marriage, your children, your ministry, your calling, your destiny. He's controlling the early masses around you. In the, in the text is the figure of a human person. Human being. He's in the form of a human being. So the Elimas, when he heard that Jesus, the, no, the proconsul by the name of Sergius Powers, something like that, wanted now the, the servants of God to come and speak the word, which means they were coming with an apostolic anointing to lose him free. Because one of the power, apostolic power, is to set people free. When he knew that they're coming to deliver, they're coming to set him free, he resisted them. The Bible says that he withstood them. He withstood them. So Elimas' spirit, Elimas' spirit is the spirit of resistance. Resisting you to receive all what God has for you. Resisting you. Resisting. If they're resisting your blessing, the good news, they're resisting what God has for you. The promotion, devil, resist your promotion. Have you ever been to a place 
the person who was promoted, you had a lot more than what he has. Have you been in that place? And in many ways, you are expecting to be the person to be promoted. In many ways, you are expecting, I am the next. It's me. You could not see anyone else. You never did anything wrong. You've been faithful. You go down to the test and realize the elements of spirit, how it, it blocks. It's, an, it's, a, it's a power which, which hinders, which resists all oh, what God has for you. It resists your blessing. When the moment the elements of spirit, now go out of the figure of the human being. Go in the spiritual realm. Begin to think about all the elements of spirits that are surrounding you. You could now be something else. Would have been not been the elements of spirit see, that are controlling your environments. That are controlling your situation. That are controlling your circumstances. Now the elements of spirit is coming and blocking. It's a blocking spirit. It's a blocking spirit. It blocks. It blocks your blessing. It comes and make a hindrance, a block, a wall that inhibits you to go where you are supposed to be. It inhibits you. It resists you. And listen to me. He had two names, Elmas. The first name was Barry Jesus, means the son of Jesus. The son of Jesus or the son of Joshua. Some people who are close to you, they are beautiful. Beautiful things around them. You like their statues. You like their dresses. You like their perfumes. You like how they talk nice the English. You like how they are presentable. How they are gorgeous and beautiful. But listen, when, 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 when Saul descend that this is, not, this is not an issue of about having a wise man close to the leader to advise you. This is a spiritual thing. He said, you are the son of the devil. You are the son of the devil. There are so many things, as, as you look to them in the first instance, you see them, they are so beautiful. Wow. Wonderful. It can even be a church. I say, it can even be a church. The first time you go into the church, you say, wow. But the son of the devil. The moment you realize that, ah, I'm in the wrong place, it's too late for you to go where you're supposed to be. Devil has stolen everything which you are supposed to receive. The Elmas spirit is bad spirit. And I want you to be angry in your spirit right now. Because in chapter 8, I think, when Philip, Philip was in Samaria, there's another witch by the name of Simeon, who was also operating superstitions, but God arrested him. One thing I know, there's no any demonic force which is powerful than the name of Jesus Christ. No any demonic force. No any witchcraft. Now, now, the church should realize all these things because as you are advancing to your destiny, at the very same time, the devil is coming against you in many different forms. Many different forms. Some things which you say, wow, in the spirit, they are no. They are no. They are no. They are devil. It's the devil who has come in that beautiful form which you think it's for me, I need it, this is what I need. Can be a, a, a person who's proposing you. Can be a person who wants to come and, and make business with you. A business partner can come in the form of a person who says, I feel we can be together in this mission. But I want you to know in the name of the Lord that there's some elements of spirits which are blocking, which are resisting you to fully be what God wants you to become. To fully be what God wants you to be. So, so, under the power, if you read the text from verse number one, you realize he was under the power from the verse number one. Under the power of the Spirit of God. Descend. This is not God. This is devil. And that's all about the apostolic spirit. 
the apostolic mantle. You know, the, when we talk about apostles, we're not talking people with the titles of apostles. We're talking about the, 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 the grace to discern what is resisting people to fully become in their lives. That power, that anointing, that grace, that's what we're talking about. That God falls. It can be your fellow church member. In one moment, he can be under the apostolic spirit, under the apostolic anointing, can be saying some things which are troubling your life. And because of that, Apostle Saul rose and said, you, you are deceitful. There's a deception spirit in the animal spirit. Deception. You think it's this color, but what it means, it meant it was this one. You thought it's this way, but he was a wolf in midst of sheep. And you now begin to do things. The moment you're working too hard to see things breaking out, but they're not breaking out. Because remotely, you're not screaming. You're not screaming. There's no, ah, tunakwenda, tunaondoka, natunudisha, tutakwenda. They're remotely controlling you. They're managing your life. They are controlling you. You cannot go further than where these elements and spirits, they want you to be. And today, as I'm praying, I'm releasing you from that spirit in the name of the Lord. They shall know the truth, and the truth shall set them free. Amen. The truth will set you free right now as I'm preaching the word of God. Amen. Chapter number 12. Ch- chapter number 14, 13, sorry. 13 is a chapter of being liberated from all the early massive spirits which have been following your life. There are things which on Friday I'll try to share to you from the past, from the chapter 13. I'll continue on this on Friday. Number one, it speaks about fasting. Number two, it speaks about the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, the anointing which breaks yokes in the lives of people. The anointing of God. The anointing of the Spirit of God, which breaks yoke. And number three is about what the text says in verse number four. It says, as they were ministering to the Lord. As they were ministering to it is where he says, There's something has to do with the ibada for you to be set free in all the spirits that are going around in your life. That comes the power of worshiping God, the power of coming to the church, the power of congregating together. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody say amen in the name of the Lord. That's why God has to tell Moses in Exodus 25 that I want my people to build their sanctuary where I'll dwell in. Because he knew when they have a sanctuary, God's presence will be there to set God's people free. To redeem them. To heal them. Even as I am sharing this word to you this morning, I know there's some penetration of the spiritual rays that are coming to distance you away from all these elements of spirit that has been hindering your blessing. There are some spiritual rays that are coming to set you free. You may notice or even not noticing them, but I believe there are some things happening in the spiritual realm for you this morning. Be free in the name of the Lord. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Devil knows exactly. There are three people, if I want to call them people, who knows who you are. Number one, God knows you. Knows you who you are in the fullness. Number two, devil knows who you are. Devil knows. Devil knows who you are. Devil knows you. He says, we know Peter. Who are you coming here? He knows you. Devil knows you. He knows your blessing. That's why he's fighting you. He knows all the the destiny which God has set before you. That's why he's resisting you. You also know who you are yourself. 
Because Jesus said that I know where I come from, I know where I've gone. He knew himself. It's important to know yourself. That's why the devil is fighting you because he has an idea of who you can possibly become. He has an idea how much wealth you can gather. He has an idea how much education you can have. He has an idea how great family you can raise up. That's why he's fighting you. I pray for you this morning. The elements of spirit lives you in the name of the Lord. Lifts you in Jesus' name. So he says, I want my people. Exodus 25, I think. Somewhere you'll, you'll make your study. I want my people to make their sanctuary where I will dwell in. Because he knew the solution for the, his people is him to be with them. God to be among them. God to be in midst of them. That's why Moses said, if you don't, if you don't go, we are not going. Because he had an idea that without God, nothing is possible for us. Without you, Father, without you, God, we are not going anywhere. This is the time for the church to be hungry for God. Amen. To be hungry for the service, the worship. Coming to to God, coming to the presence of God, coming to the house of God, coming to worship God. This is the time for you to be out of this elements of spirit. You need to be planted in the house of God. Amen. That's why he says in Psalms 92, I think, Psalms 92, 13 and 14, he says, those who are planted in the house of God shall flourish. Amen. Elements of spirit cannot touch you. There are many aspects which I'll share with you on Friday. Elmas Spirit is afraid of the people who have been planted in the house of God. He's afraid of them. He says, continue in verse number 14, he says, they will be fruitful and flourishing. You will become fruitful in your life. You will be flourishing in your life. Nothing will inhibit you from all what God has for your life. This morning, I set you free from all kinds of elements and spirits in your life in the name of Jesus. Any elements and spirit which binds you, resists you, blocks you, I'm setting you free right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Because God has a purpose for you. Because God knows who you are. And you see what happens here. This, uh, this intelligent person, this intelligent person, a leader of the whole province, he's been led by a witch. Cannot be allowed to set a limit of how far can you reach. You are going to become everything God has for your life. You are going to be blessed by God himself. That message, the good news, was an indication of the blessing of God. But Elimas wanted to block the blessings of God. Elimas wanted to resist the blessings of God. Elimas wanted to resist to block the blessings of God. I'm talking to you, men and the women of God. We are fighting right now the Elimas spirit in your life. I am fighting every Elimas spirit in your job. I'm fighting an element of spirit in your marriage and family. In the name of Jesus Christ, to receive your breakthrough in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your breakthrough. Devil, Satan cannot bind you and keep you in a limited space. This is your time to rise up in the name of the Lord. This is your time to go higher in the name of Jesus. This is your time to become everything which God has for your life. In the name of Jesus, if you say something, say amen in the name of the Lord. I want you to stand. We go and do the intercession. We go and do the intercession. Many of you, you know yourself. You know yourself how devil for so long time has been inhibiting you. There are certain things you knew there were for you. God had given to you. They were for you. There are certain things which you knew that was for me. It was for me, for my life. There are certain things which you were certain. This is for me. I'm qualified for this. I deserve this. This should be for me. But devil, with his elements of spirit, has been resisting, has been blocking, has been blocking your blessing and all what you 
be saved. Listen, there's something down there. He says, you who pervades the righteousness of the Lord. You do you not know that verse. He pervades it. In other words, that you try to be holy, righteous. You try to be good. But therefore, in return, he gives you the evil things. You get what you have not been sowing. You've been loyal to your boss, but he's promoting other people, not you. You've been working so hard to, to make your company, your business, your office to do well, to perform well, to succeed. But somehow you find other people are benefiting your strength. Other people are benefiting your strength, not you. Those are elements of spirit, elements of spirit. Why not you this time? Why not you to be all what God has for you? Today, lift up your hands to God. And I want you to begin praying for yourself. Because even the proconsul, the governor had to call for apostles to come and help him. This is your time to call on the name of the Lord. This is your time for you to say, I am fed up. I am sick and tired to, to live under the elements of spirit in my life. This is the time for you to deny all the elements of spirit that they cannot operate and function in you. This is the time for you to call on the name of the Lord. I want every one of us this morning to be calling on the name of Jesus Christ. As now is the time for you to be set free in the name of the Lord. Begin to ask God in Jesus' name. Anything that has been blocking you, man of God, I'm coming against you in the name of Jesus Christ. I am I'm standing against every activity of the devil that has been working and operating against you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I am setting you free. In Jesus' name. Any early massive spirit that has been operating in your life, I command it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, to go away and leave you in Jesus' name. Raka po seke dina magapuri ya magasika. Raka pa saka dina magapuri ya magasika. Any elima spirit. Any elima spirit that has been working against your life. Today, right now, it's in the end of each operation. And I'm setting you free. I'm distancing you from all the elima spirit works against your life has been resisting you to receive your blessing right now in the name of Jesus Christ I'm setting you free my sister and the elements of spirit works against you works to block your blessing to resist your blessing I am setting you free right now in the name of Jesus Christ be free the name of Jesus Christ, my son, and the early my spirit, I cast it away. Go away in the name of the Lord. Leave this young man, Jesus' name. Leave her and go away. Leave her and go away in Jesus' name. I am setting you free this morning. I am setting you free this morning. Raka poseke dina magafuri abagasika. Reka pasaka. I am setting you free, gentlemen. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will become everything God wants you to be. You will be everything which God desires you to be. There is no any elements of spirit that will block you, that will hinder you, that will resist you to be. In Jesus' name. Raka poseke. Keep on praying. Keep on praying. Keep on praying. And the elements of spirit. I command you in the name of the Lord. Go away. Go away. My son. This morning I'm breaking the spirit of elements of spirit. In Jesus' name. Go away. Go away, Jesus. Raka for Sekadina Magapolia Magasika. Raka for Sakadina Magapolia Magasika. Rima Gasakadina Magadala Magasika. 
Like a portfolio of a seeker. Go away in Jesus' name. Any form, any system that is blocking you. Any system, any form that is blocking you. I command it in the name of the Lord to go away. Go away. I am setting you free this morning. Go tell the name of the Lord. I am setting you free this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be set you free. Be set you free. I am setting you free from all kinds of elements and spirits. In Jesus' name. Go on. I am setting you free. In the name of Jesus Christ. If the activity of the devil around your life that blocks you, that inhibits you, I am setting you free right now. I am setting you free right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ. I can forsake it in the power of Jesus Christ. I am setting you free right now. In the name of Jesus, the power to break every chain, the power to heal every sickness, the power to heal every sickness today, the power to free every captive. Be free. The power to free every captive. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be free. In the name of Jesus Christ. I am setting you free this morning. Receive anointing. Receive the anointing of the Spirit of God to come out of the Spirit of elements in Jesus' name. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Be free. Your promotion must come. Your promotion must come. Your position must be established. In the name of Jesus Christ. I am setting you free this morning. I deliver you from all kinds of the elements of spirit. Right now. Mama, receive your miracle this morning. Receive your miracle. Son, receive your miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive the power which affects every yoke in your life, every spirit of intimacy. In Jesus' name, I am setting you free right now. I am setting you right now. I set you free 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 right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free right now. In the powerful mighty name of Jesus Christ be free in the name of the Lord be free in the name of Jesus Christ be free in the name of Jesus Christ be free in the name of the Lord rock up a sucker keep on praying for yourself keep on calling the name of the Lord mom I'm setting you free every element is spirit in the name of the Lord he's defeated in the name of the Lord he's defeated in the name of Jesus Christ rock up a sucker rock up a sucker dinamayanda Recap a sucker. Keep on calling on the name of the Lord. Keep on calling on the name of the Lord. Keep on calling on the name of the Lord. Repeseke. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Be set free. In Jesus' name. Be set free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every element of spirit torments you, blocks you, resists you. I am setting you free right now. By the power of the name of Jesus Christ, be free in Jesus' name. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ. My daughter, receive your miracle this morning. Receive your miracle. That spirit which is setting boundaries in your family is broken in the name of Jesus Christ. It's broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive, receive. Receive and receive. Receive and receive. In the name of Jesus, receive and receive. Raka pasaka, hetarabo seke, rika pasaka, namaga seke tina mayanda. 
We are breaking the spirit of Elimas right now. We are breaking the spirit of Elimas right now. You become fruitful. You become successful. You become prosperous. In the might and powerful name of Jesus Christ. You spirit of Elimas, go away and leave these people of God. This morning I'm setting you free. This morning I deliver you in Jesus' name. Be delivered, be set free by the power of the name of Jesus Christ. Rekapasaka, Rakapasika, receive your miracle. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, receive your miracle. All the spirit of Elimas are gone in Jesus' name. All the spirit of Elimas, they're defeated, overcome by the power of the name of Jesus Christ. You are free. You are free in the name of Jesus Christ. He who the Son sets him free, he becomes him free indeed. You have been set you free, Mama. You have been set you free, young man. In the name of Jesus Christ, he who the Son sets him free, he becomes him free indeed. I am setting you free right now. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ. I am setting you free in the name of the Lord. Be free in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ, become free. Your mind to be free. Your economy to be free. Your family to be free. Your job to be free. Your life to be free. Your business to be free. I declare freedom right now. I declare freedom right now. I declare freedom right now. Your marriage to become free right now. Your family to become free right now. Your job to be free right now. In the name of Jesus, you are free from the spirit of Elimas right now. In Jesus' mighty name. Rakabasaka, pray for your promotion. Pray for your promotion. Pray for a business that is running in prophecy. The spirit that has been causing running business that losses. Deny that spirit. Rebuke that spirit in the name of the Lord. Begin to declare that my business will run at prophecy. My family will prosper. My marriage will prosper. My children will succeed. Begin to make your personal declaration in the name of Jesus Christ. Elimas is gone away. Elimas is defeated. Elimas is broken down. This is service, this church service, it is meant to break every Elimas spirit in the lives of people. Right now, in the name of the Lord, I'm setting you free. Rakapa Saka, I'm setting you free right now. In the name of Jesus. You once upon a time used to be shiny, attractive. You were special. But the devil sent his spirit to block you, to make you no longer shiny. But this morning, we are calling on that special anointing on your life to begin shy. To begin shy. To begin shy. Joseph, in the name of Jesus Christ, receive in the name of the Lord. Receive in the name of the Lord. Receive in the name of Jesus Christ. Rakapasaka, begin to make a declaration for your business to keep on glowing, for your family, for your job, for the promotion which has been on hold for so long time. Begin call on the name of the Lord. Rakapasaka, this service today is setting you free, is uplifting every kind of a limitation, of a limitation. Any limitation, any limitation, any limitation, any limitation for your family, for your marriage. Oh, receive the power to break through in Jesus' mighty name. Rakaposika, Ramasaka, Hiramasaka, Koramasika. Rakaposika, Ramasaka, 
You've been remote controlled for so long time. But today, God has set you free. Today, the Spirit of, of the Lord has set you free. Your business has been remotely controlled by Elimus Spirit. But today, the remote control is in the hands of God. The remote control of your life is in the hands of God. I see the Holy Spirit pressing the right buttons for your life. I see the Holy Spirit pressing the light, right buttons for your life. I see the Holy Ghost pressing the light, right buttons for your marriage and family. The Holy Spirit is pressing the right keys for you and receive the anointing right now. And receive the anointing right now. And receive the anointing right now. Shout Amen! One more time, shout Amen! amen. For the last time, once somebody say a very big emotional Amen! amen. Raka Pasaka, Kira Masaka, Reka Pasika. The Lord is pressing the right buttons for you to succeed right now. He's pressing the right buttons for you to prosper right now. He's pressing the right buttons for you to be promoted in the name of the Lord. He's pressing the right buttons for you to succeed in life in the name of the Lord. Say after me, say, Jesus, I thank you for your anointing that has set me free this morning. I am now free in Jesus' name. I have everything which you have for me. And therefore you are defeated in every area of my life. In the name of Jesus. Somebody to yell and say amen. amen. Give the Lord the cups of your hands. It is for you. 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 Today is your day. Today is your day. Today is your day. Today is your day. And receive in the name of the Lord. The whole church will be fasting for 12 hours and meet from 5 p.m. for Bible study, prayer, 